Hey everybody, we're back at Sycamore Spring Farm again and we're here on Blueberry Lane. One of my customers painted that little sign for me a few years ago because we planted over 20 blueberry plants down that lane at that time and that was how we selected the name Blueberry Lane. So we're going to take a walk down here right now and take a look at some of the blueberry bushes and some of the other fruit trees that we've got growing down here. We have three varieties of blueberries planted here. We have early, mid, and late season. And if you take a look, they are absolutely loaded with blueberries this year. This is one of the later season plants. And with the strange weather that we've been having, with the hot and the cold and the drought and the flood, I was really concerned. But it looks like we're really going to have a bumper crop of blueberries. Many of these bushes down here are loaded so full, I don't know if they're going to be able to support the weight once those berries begin to mature. Now here is one that's a, an earlier season. As you can see, those berries are almost fully matured yet still green, and it is uh, pretty loaded as well. And in case you notice my little birdhouses, we finally figured out what to do with them. We're just putting them all along the fence posts at the garden and attracting all kinds of lovely bluebirds and little Jenny Wrens. And I really do enjoy those beneficial insect eaters being around the garden. Come on this way and I'll show you some apricot trees and peach trees. This is a dwarf peach tree. This is actually the first year that it's had any fruit on it. And we're going to go ahead and actually let that fruit mature this year. Last year it had a couple of little peaches on it, but we took it off so that the plant could just focus on root production. But this year we're going to go ahead and see what kind of peaches it produces for us. And we continue along here with the blueberry bushes. And then on the other side of the fence, we're going to come back later and show you a very unique design that we have put around our raspberry uh, canes that has really... Uh, it's just absolutely made them grow amazingly fast this year, and it, it cuts down on them going into weeds and spreading all over the garden. But we'll share that with you in a couple of minutes. So we continue on down with many blueberry bushes. And over to the right, I do not want to forget to show you all the fig tree. Usually every year this fig tree dies back down to the ground and we have to start all over again with it and we have very little fruit. But last year one of our members had seen a video about wintering fig trees over with a six or eight foot wire cage. So this winter we put the wire cage around the fig and filled it from the bottom all the way to the top with dried leaves. And as you can see, this fig tree has leafed out all the way to the top for the first time ever. And we already have figs maturing, so we may actually get a really nice fig crop here this year. Now this tree, I've, I've never had one of these trees before and they, they have strange little growths on them but they're apricots so I'm just learning about them they are, there are a lot of apricots in here I never knew that that was what little apricots looked like so they I would have thought that they would have been fuzzy like peaches but they look more like plums to me so I'm very interested to see exactly what this is going to turn out like and again this is the second year that it has had fruit on it so Last year we pulled all of the little fruit off of the tree, but this year we're going to actually see what we're going to end up with. But we have had things happen in the past. I ordered a Granny Smith apple tree and waited three years for it to bear fruit, and it ended up having gala apples on it. So we're not really sure what these are going to end up producing, but we will find out this year. Here's another one of those later season blueberry bushes. It's just starting to set and it looks like it is really going to be loaded with fruit as well. So I'm thinking that 2012 is going to be a great year for a blueberry crop. This is another little apricot tree. And here we have some of our older fruit trees. This is an Asian pear. And it's, it's actually got bumper crop of fruit on it this year. 
And here was that infamous Gala apple tree that I told you about that was supposed to be a Granny Smith. And then over here at the end is a kefir pear tree. And of course, Blueberry Lane has to end with another blueberry bush that's once more loaded with wonderful blueberries. I cannot wait to harvest those. But we're going to take a, a, a walk right around the corner here because I want you to see the, sh the cherry trees as well this year. Last year, there were not three cherries on each of these trees, but this year, it's going to be one of those years where the limbs are actually going to bend over under the weight of these cherries when they mature. So we will have pick your own cherries and everybody can make cherry preserves and those sour cherry pies. So stay tuned for more.